get this all lined. I mean, line, get you lined up because you've been pretty busy here lately. Yes, sir. A lot going on. But Barry Nelson, one thing I know about Barry, he loves our town. Well, I'm. Yes, sir. I yeah, and you're well invested. Invested <laughs> in this town, and you know, I grew up here, I live here for all my life, and you know, I'm invested in this town, and you know. I'm probably the biggest cheerleader we've got. You are. One of them, anyway. You are. You, you always kind of get me going when I when I get down. Well, it's, you know, this community, we're our own worst enemy a lot of times. Yeah. But, you know, we're, I see numbers from other areas, my numbers versus their numbers in here. Right. You know, we're, uh, um, we're doing all right. I all mean, right. our numbers. Were you excited with that job announcement? We were both at that. Oh, yeah. That, 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 that. Uh, that's good. And it opened up Commonwealth Crossing. That's twofold. Mm -hmm. You know, that opens up that piece of property down there that, you know, getting the first one is like getting the first hitting of a ball game. You mm -hmm. know, the second one's easy. Yeah. So. Because um, it looks like it's something going on, right? Yeah. It is it is going on. I mean, it's going to go on. Oop. And the, um, the training facility is just mm -hmm. the start. I mean, that brings them in. You know, it's not but a couple of those in the whole nation. Mm -hmm. So when they get the training facility up and going, you know, that's not that a good. I thought when I, when they announced that, I thought that was the that was a. It's a little bit of a gimmick, but it's a great gimmick. What the, the, the training center? Oh, in the, the training center. Well, it's it is maybe a gimmick, but it is a it's a tool for the economic development to use. You know, to bring the people in. You know, and it when ties they, a little bit of emotion into it because it's kind of like baseball. You always hear that thing if you build, you know, build it, they'll come. Right. But it, but there you of, can see it. You can see, the workers will be able to see yeah. the, their factory being built yeah. behind, out, of, out of the windows. You know, we we talked about this years ago with the previous administrations and stuff about shell buildings. Mm -hmm. You know, we will struggle about building shell buildings. I said, guys, I said, you know, we'll gamble. Mm -hmm. I said, you build it and they'll come. Mm -hmm. You know, and and fortunately, you know, we've done well. You know, shell buildings. We most of those buildings in the, you know, the. Um, um, Patriot Center? Patriot Center yeah. or, you know. And they got them all full? Yeah. Well, we got one working, well, but yeah. I think we're getting close. So hopefully yeah. we'll get close to doing that one. But the, um, but it's it's worked. You know, we've, you know, like I said, a whole lot of these communities look at us as redhead stepchild. Mm -hmm. And now they're, they're not, they're seeing our victories. They're seeing what we're doing and seeing what's going on. It's, um we can be as good as we want to be. All right. I think it's. Uh, so I'm going to use it because I know you're a coach. Yeah. So, so, and that's the reason I kind of want to do the show tonight because I, I see a vision here. And, and so how would, you, how, how, how would you coach us to the next 10 years? Well, what do we need to do? Well, the, I think you first start when the Harvest Foundation, uh, with, I, I, we're going to look back at this. This is going to be a big deal, paying for free college mm -hmm. in this community. Patrick in the community college. Mm-hmm. Free college. Talking about the seed fund. Yes, sir. That, if we get the young folks and understand, you know, they're going to get two years of free college. Mm -hmm. You know, we just, but, and I've told the other, like Eastman and the other manufacturers, you know, that's up to them to get in and sell their programs to these young folks. And they don't need to wait to the second year. They need to be doing it in the first year where they're doing general studies. Then, you know, they can say, well, I can walk out of this, you know, college and you know, if I go through their program, I'm gonna make fifteen, twenty dollars an hour, and so you know, yeah. and and take. Is that those. why you back to college so much? Well, you seem to be a big funder of theirs. Well, the thing about it, I'm married. I'm married to a teacher. Okay. And you know, I was one of the kids that's probably played ball, sit in the back of the room. You know, teacher, just give me the grades so I can play ball, and just mm -hmm. you know, not you know, I didn't see the need of education. Didn't take it seriously. At didn't the time. take it serious, and I mean, I could have done. I'm the same, really good. same boat. But. But after education is what's going to bring us out of this situation we're in now. Mm -hmm. With and you know we've got to get people at, you know not looking at unemployment or anything. It's we got to look at it. At, we need jobs, and we need good jobs, and we need to, the young folks need to uh, invest in the college, their education. There's and it's free. It's free, but you know <laughs> I'm trying to say it, it's and that's what I told the um, Morgan and I told the um, guy from the um, Secretary of Commerce. Mm -hmm. Commerce, I told him that you know when we do this, I said it's just that's an economic incubator in itself, right? Because you know if we can train these young folks, we bring people in, you know, and I've heard people say, well, you know, they may move to Henry County to be able to get those two years free. 
you know, college. I mean, it's it it it's going to be a bigger deal than people think. We yeah. just got we've got to sell it. Mm -hmm. I was in a meeting with the um, uh, McAuliffe, the governor mm -hmm. at the time, and they had this big round table, and all the college the community colleges were in there, and I don't know if it was four-year colleges, in there, but I don't know why they had me there. And I yeah. just, you know, it was just like you asking me to be, you yeah. know, I just, I, just I'm up. opinionated, you yeah. know. And they had me in there, and it got, you know, when they going around, the colleges were telling me all the great programs and stuff. Hey, the microphone got to me, and I looked over, the, I looked at the <laughs> uh, governor, I said, you know, all this sounds good and great. I said, but how are you selling it? Mm -hmm. And you could have heard a pin drop. How do you pitch I, it? Right? Yes. How do you sell it? You know, how do you sell it to these high school kids? Right. And I said, you know, that's when they had career coaches starting and they start, you know, it's different programs stemmed out of that. But I told them, I said, you know, we got all the programs in the world, but nobody knows it or they don't do it or don't use it. That's the same pro situation gotcha. we got now with what we do. We got to tell the young folks they got to understand it. They got to take advantage of it. I mean, we're on them. I was sitting with an investment banker and probably talked to him. You know, he he beat me up. You know, come to solicit me, but yeah. you know, I was we were talking about it, and you know, and I think we're in. People say, "Well, we're in it." You know, we're, it's always naysayers or people. We're in, and I truly believe this. And I, you know, I don't. I hate to. I don't say hate, but I think we're in the middle of an economic cycle. Mm -hmm. Positive cycle, right? You know, we've been in this for a long time, ten years or whatever. Everybody in business believes the Trump tax cut, cuts have really helped. It's going to help, and it's going to help bigger than what we anticipate because yeah. it's some other. It's helping. That's what he were talking about. They were the thought process. It just really hasn't taken effect mm -hmm. at the corporate levels, and it you know came down yet. But it's coming. You know, when they start looking at the, the you know their equipment purchases. They had got to the, you know, they really hadn't bought, um, you know, all the equipment that they need. They need it. They're looking for employees, but there's going to be a big uh, push to buy equipment for these factories. Mm -hmm. When Ronald Reagan did the uh, investment tax credits, yep. and that stirred the economy, I think, you know, when it came out of Carter, went out in, and I'm old enough to know these things, mm -hmm. but I, you know, when I, could, but I started thinking about that investment tax credit, I bought, I bought, you know, a couple of loaders, a dozer, and stuff, because gotcha. I could take that stuff right off my taxes, and yeah. we used it in the business. I built things. Rather I than mean, just built these. Away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, and that's the same thing that's going to happen here. But we really hadn't got into the strength of it yet. The like he was saying, we're in the mid part of it, or even the early parts of it. You know, people worry about the stock market going. And the stock market may go down a little bit. It's going to stay steady. And one of the things up. I'm warning the community about, and I'm, I'm going to get Daniel to put up my job truck. People don't understand, and by by September and October, we will not have enough people to well, fill the what, jobs that we that's have. That's what I said earlier. I said, you know, we're all worse in it. Well, you know, we can be as good as we can be. Right. You know, and um, we got companies that are on town advertising. That we got job fairs every week. Well, because we can't know, find enough people to fill the jobs. Well, the, the, you know, what's going on? Isn't that well, crazy? Well, it's. <laughs> It's a couple things going on. You know, we've got to get people, you know, we came through the those years where they gave away a lot of yeah. social programs and mm -hmm. stuff, and I don't want to sound bad about it, but, you know, we've got, that's got somewhere uh, to go. staff is telling me by October they're going to be busing people in from Danville to fill our jobs. Well, the thing about it, Isn't where, that yeah, I got you, <laughs> but I still go back to what I'm talking about, that seed fund. Mm -hmm. You know that's College. where that's where we got that's where we got to plant to see it's, it's where seed. it's got to come up. Right. You know we've got to um, make the un, young folks understand. You know they're gonna walk out of that school, you know, with a uh, a degree and they they gonna have a job. Talk they to walk school, right into a job. Talk to the county superintendent today. She says that's one of the worst. That's one of the hardest things they're trying to deal with kids is trying to get them focused on their career when they're thinking about the prom and the beach and and all that thing. It's, mm -hmm. and, and, and we we admitted ourselves it was very difficult. Back there, you wanted to play ball. I, I want to play ball, but you know the wild thing about that is, you know, everybody thinks I played baseball and mm -hmm. did this and all. I never played the first inning of baseball in my life. The reason why, you know, at this, you know, I was always working. I could play youth baseball because I was always working. I was on yeah. a farm doing, right. so, you know, working. Yeah. And then you know, baseball, basketball, and football, you could play mm -hmm. because it was at night, and you know, I could hustle up and find a ride here yeah. and there and do that. 
But when we got to baseball season, it was, it was a lot going on. It couldn't work. I mean, I, let's put it this way. When I got to high school, I couldn't catch up enough for what they needed to. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and I went and played softball at night instead of, you know, I could work and then right. go play ball. Right. And, um, but it's, but at that time I worked. Yeah. And yeah, I wanted a car. I wanted this. I wanted that. And I wanted to have money to go out and have a good time on Saturday and Friday night and, you know, whatever. And I mean, it was just. It was the way it was. Now, one of the things that I admire about you um, is that you seem to be able to get to people to play as a team. Well, that's that's the coach part of it. Yeah. I mean, you know, and it's just, but there again, it's just Vince Lombardi said this, you know, and the announcer was asked him, why do you always have these good, all these good ball teams? He said, I get the best ball players. Right. And that's what I do. I mean, I look for talent. I keep looking for talent and keep the best teams. Right. You know, and then, you know, and you put them together and you mesh, you know, and if you have one that's not meshing, you either correct them or let somebody else have All right, them. I'm going to ask you a tough question dealing with our community. Because I'm, I'm having you on here because I want to talk about our community. One thing we know is that the city continues to have, seems to have money problems. It seems like they're, they're, they're running out of money and that, that school system's costing a lot of money to run. And then you, you got put the, me on a point here, aren't you? Yeah. Well, but, but, but I mean, this is coming. I mean, they're almost broke. And, well, then you, and then you got the county over here who says, well, we don't really want to play. Well, but, you understand their issues. And I mean, yeah. it's been that way for a long time. It's, it, it's, so give them some advice. Give them some advice. <laughs> them some, I mean, because this, this, this is a big hurdle I think the community is going to need to Well, everybody's got to check the attitude at the door. Everybody. Mm -hmm. County, city, both. And they got to understand that, you know, we're in this together. And, you know, taking on the city is going to be an economic challenge. Right. But it will be better if we can, you know. It, but the county they says. They don't have the county. The, the county says we, our books are good and, oh, we don't want, and we don't want to mess them up. Well, knock on wood, Henry County's in good shape. Yeah. I mean, we're in good shape. They're good reserve what, balance. They do it. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, and. But the you know, city's the tax, not. Well, they don't have the tax base. But yeah, but the city city can say, okay, we're going to revert to a town and start annexing your land. Well, did, like that I can said, happen. Well, I got you. But what I'm trying to tell you is everybody's go, everybody's got to go sit down, check the attitudes at the door, and try to figure this out. But they haven't know, been able to do it yet. Well, but they. <sighs> That's why I you know, at one time, and I'm going to tell you the real problem, the city was the diamond of the jewel, I mean, right. at the end of the day. Right. And the county was a redhead stepchild. <laughs> right. So now it's now kind of reverted right. around. <laughs> and, you know, and a lot of the older guys and the older folks still remember all that, yep. you know, and, you know, it's just. It's a, a lot of bad blood blood. Well, it's not, I don't say bad blood, but it's just. It's it still sits know, around. But, you know, just like I told uh, Morgan Griffith, you know, that. You know, we're almost out of the furniture and knit mill generation yep. workers. Right. You know, and you know the thing about it, you know, we're past almost past that. You know, we're at, so you know the new generation, the what we've got coming and what we've got to work with. You know, we got to train them. We got to be educated. And that's what I was talking about. Um, you talking about Patrick Henry and me supporting it? I understand. Believe me. I understand the need for education because education is what's going to bring us out of this. Okay, but let's go back to the big problem. What, 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 I know, what do we, I mean, it is a big one. And, I, and I, it, I think it takes big leadership to be able to get us through it. Well, it's going to have to be. Uh, and I think they need to avoid getting into a fight. Well, I, that's, that's what I'm saying. You got to, we got to say, this problem's here. This is what we got. And this is assets we got. How can we make this work? And keep everybody solvent, keep everybody going. And you know, you know, Uptown Martinsville is better than it's ever been, mm -hmm. but still, it's not a revenue. It's not enough revenue yet, right. tax revenue, and um, it's. And, and, and everybody don't want to go. This up is another on other thing is is that taxes are a lot higher in the city than they are in the county. Well, that's the reason. I mean, they, you know, they're here, and they've got to have this to operate. They got to have the tax. I, I mean, I can't help but county. notice you got more dealerships out in the county than you do in the city. Well, and it's got to be a reason. Well, it's just no. Well, it is, <laughs> and, it, and you know, some of the little real estate may be a little less expensive. And, you know, it just depends. Yeah. A lot of things involved. But, but there. taxes are and cheaper bought, in the county. Yeah. 
And they, and, but, you know, it's a reason for that. You know, Tim and them may work hard at this. No. I mean, you know, we've got, they've got tax base. You know, go to the, um, you know, the, the businesses we got around here. I mean, but what you know, Tim will tell you is, is that if the city comes and takes, and takes and annexes that that business center, then that's going to take a lot of taxes away from that. Well, I, I think it's you know I don't, I don't agree with that. I mean, you know, I don't think, you know, if they've earned, worked and earned this, you just don't turn it over. Yeah, but it's been, I got it, you. It, but I understand. They can be forced but, to do it. Well, I that, think, that's a big elephant in the room. Yeah. Well. But I don't know the city wants to give up control right. to be able to do that. And I don't get, I don't want to get, you know, I'm speaking out of turn. But, but, I don't but, know anything but, about but it. But we're looking at the future of our community. And I think it's just super important. I do think leaders need to start talking about it. Um, well, and we can get through it, if we can get through it smoothly. Yeah. Um, well, like I, I said, they're going to have to, it's going to have to, everybody's got to check attitudes, sit down and go over and just say, the problems we got, you know. But would you be willing to help? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, I've been in some of those meetings that they try to figure out how to do things, right. and you know, and actually, it some of them, you know, we went through this and it got solutions, but you know, again, it's got to go past by both, and you know, it's it's. But there are similarities to baseball, don't you think? Oh, yeah. How to play a game, how to get through it. Not oh yeah, much. I mean it, but. Uh, Everybody's get you know, it's just, uh, hopefully this, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to, and if I had to answer, I mean, they could pay me all this money that they pay to buy to pay to get the people to come in, you know, consultants and stuff. But, you know, it's, uh, um, I don't know, it's, it's the biggest issue. It's probably a big issue for the city. But as long as they have the tax revenue and they stay within their means, you know, it's fine. How about how about the city and county get together and they put a deal together? That, that, I don't know. Some, that some kind of deal need to be put together where that can be a little more trust? Well, probably. I don't know. I mean, you asking, you know, ask me, I don't know. I mean, you know, it's some stuff that needs to be probably worked on, you know, services, water systems, sewer systems, mm -hmm. electric systems, you know, um, power systems. I'm saying, you know, it, some of that stuff you know, needs to start working on now. And I know it's uh, um, the county's water sewer systems are, you know, better than what the city's right. got. And you know, they've been there a long yeah, yeah, and it's antiquated, I think. And, you know, it's just going to take a while to, you know, it's, you, everybody's got to understand, you know, we're all, we're, we're, we're all, all, we're all, all it's exactly right. That's, that's what it really comes down to. Even yeah. though we want to say, you know, I live in the county. My mom has property in the city. Yeah. And I like my tax rate in the county. Yeah. I want it to stay the same. Well, and and I, one thing that scares me a little bit is a double tax. Because I don't think anybody trusts. Because if, if, let's say, they revert to a town, then the people in the city are going to have to pay double tax. Mm. Do you, yeah. Does anybody trust that? I don't. Well, they just, I, like I said, Change subject because you know <laughs> I don't you know it's but, just but, beyond me. But this is the big one, and and I think we do well, need to figure out a solution to it. Well, yeah, but uh, it's again, the big one. it's you know it needs to take somebody to. Um, they got to have a little bit of trust in somebody. Well, let me let me ask this question that. to you this way: but as a big business person in this town, I don't, don't you want to see this work work? I mean, but, I wanted everybody to work together. I mean, I want well, that's what I you want. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to see the city fail. I don't want to see that happen. Right. I mean, you know, but um, and the, but and the word to, Martinsville, the, the name Martinsville is our brand. Yeah, because you know when you go I'm to any saying, city, when you go to Detroit, everybody knows what Martinsville is because of the racetrack, right? Well, racetrack and other things, but you know, uh, we're our community is getting better. Right. I don't care what. And we don't want to see that word at Martinsville's bankrupt. That would be horrible. Well, it's, so we need to yeah, we need to avoid well, that. Let's, it's not, you but, see what I'm saying? Yeah, but, but I know that. But the community itself is, uh, we may, I see people and money and thing and handling people and cars and money and mm -hmm. what goes on. It's as strong as it's ever been. All right, we're gonna take a break on that. Okay. I want to talk about the car business when we come back. Okay, well, that's the one you know. That, that, that's the one you can handle. All right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're gonna talk about car business when we come back. Stay with all us. Right. 